More camping, more camping. You know, uh, uh, I love the idea of uh, sleeping in a tent on top of my car. Oh, for sure, who doesn't? Uh, especially at my uh, age and weight, for sure. But uh, apparently, some people have some different ideas. Uh, what are we doing here? We got a space camper. Let's talk about that real quick. I'm Brian, welcome to my Tesla weekend. <laughs> How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you Good doing, to Brian? see you. Good to see you. Excellent. So we've got a space camper. Now I'm showing up from this angle and it's going to look uh, monumentally huge because it is. But we're going to talk about how small it actually is in just a minute. So tell me what we're looking at just from this perspective. What's this for? Yeah, I so this is, this is a camper for the Cybertruck, specifically designed for it. You can see it on the picture here. That's mm -hmm. how small it packs down. And then mm -hmm. when it opens up, this is basically what um, our mock Cybertruck bed looks like. Mm -hmm. So we've uh, it's a drop on top, plug and play. Comes with side, side, side storage everywhere. Up top, you got a Murphy style bed that folds up into a bench. So you can kind of hang out up there, look out the back. And uh, it, has, it comes with the awning with uh, the rear wall turns into an awning. So this will actually close down and seal it up and become your enclosed tent when you're in there. Yeah. And when you hop up here, you got enough space to stand up while it's closed and get in bed, do your changing, right. get under it, still access your gear. Yeah, go ahead and hop on up. And then uh, we can't really uh, put it up right now with the backrest. So I have to draw the backrest, but this is a Murphy style bed. You flip an air switch, this goes to the ceiling. And then we have a storage compartment and table up front. And there's going to be all sorts of accessories you could put in there. So we'll do a full kitchenette in there as well that will be able to come outside. Um, you can get a good idea of that on our YouTube channel. There's a walkthrough video or an explainer video, I should say, that kind of shows uh, all the plans we have coming down the road. That is fantastic. And this is, uh, looks nice. Got bamboo up there. Yeah. And we laminate it kind of deal. Yeah, we were looking at something different for a while, but we ended up going with the bamboo because it really kind of made it feel warm in here and, and give it that camping feel. You want. I would agree with that. I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah. And we're we talking for power. This is going to plug into the into the Cybertruck, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it sure will. So yeah, so it has 220 volt power in the back. It also has air in the back. So we're tapping into both of those. The air is going to drive um, our actuators to lift the lid, which gives us a lot more power and a lot more variability with, with the roof loads you can put on there. Yeah. And then we have uh, two 110 amp, or sorry, 110 volt, 20 amps on each side. So you can run two separate cooktops at 20 amps to both of them. And uh, a couple lights down here as well for your stepping stool. We got a step on each side to get up in the bed. So you have some lights that plug in here. They come out magnetically and you can take them out with you if it's a flashlight or they stick to the ceiling in different areas and stuff. Sure. And, uh, and then as far as power goes, we'll also have 220 volt supply. So we will be doing a 220 volt instant water heater that would store in here. Wow. That will power your hot water if you want hot water in the sink or your hot water shower. We'll have a lanyard that comes out and there's a shower uh, installment that we're going to do. Uh, but also it'll just be like an eight-foot hose so you can just pull it out and shower down off the back if you're sure. in a private area or wearing a wetsuit or something like that. Or not. Or, not. or if you're in a public place yeah. wearing nothing at all, you, get naked. you <laughs> can still get all sudsy, <laughs> even on a cold winter day. We we don't recommend that, but you know what? Anybody can do what they want. You can do what you want. He just <laughs> told you. That's important to remember. That's right. Now, um, I understand uh, your product has been desperately delayed by years. Uh, but that's uh, apparently because the Cybertruck is not out. It's not out yet, which is why we're sitting on a wood box right here. But, uh, which but, confuses the people, but... Yeah, <laughs> no, is this a trailer? Yeah. No, it's a it's a canopy. Yeah. Can we call those? Yeah, we've been waiting a while for it, and we, we've kept chug a lugging, so it's been a double-edged sword for us, because it's actually let us really get our stuff dialed and um, really go through that design process many times. And now when we think we're going to bring this first one out, and when we get to actually building the tooling for all the composites and stuff... We think we're going to nail it and uh, only have to do it once. So um, we're actually kind of, it was nice. It was double-edged sword, like I said. That is going to be great. Yeah. And, uh, and but of course, they've at least told you the exact specs by which to design it, right? No. 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 Of course not. Yeah, no. Why were, would they do that? I, I think that they were didn't have them for a they long time. They did not have them. I'm, I, I think would... that they got them now and uh, we're hoping we get them soon so we can yeah. keep moving and be running as soon as we can with this truck. So Yeah, because uh, I've seen some spy footage that's very good. But nothing that would give me even accuracy to within half inch. No, not no, close. Yeah, no. It's <laughs> yep. This is based off of what they originally came out with, and so actually things might shrink down a little bit as far as the internal width, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I do think the walls are going to get a little more vertical, so I think the bed size will put, stay pretty similar. Again, that's all speculation, but um, we're really hoping for that. Because that's what we have to do is speculate. Yeah, yeah. That's all we can do. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, it's going to be tough. There's <laughs> and. Based on the expected volume of the Cybertruck sales, 
what is your expected volume? Your addressable market is huge. Yeah, it's relatively large. We're, we're thinking so. Um, how many people want this camper on there? I think that'll be determined when they really see it out there because like we said, it's kind of hard to demo it and all its yeah. beauty with it uh, on, on a box. But um, we're looking anywhere from 500 campers a year to a couple thousand a year. Yeah. That's kind of our target. If you, do, if you get half a percent of the market, you're in business. Yeah, we got a lot of campers. That's coming. more than you can yeah, build yeah. in the in the short run. Yeah, we're hoping so, and that's kind of why we ended up going with the composite tooling because when we want to scale that up, it actually is. It's pretty tough to build composite tooling, and then when you want to scale, it's pretty easy to scale and relatively cost effective. So, so when, uh, how long after the Cybertruck is out, do you think you'll be able to make first deliveries? I think it's going to take about a full month of design oh. once we get uh, of design only once mm -hmm. we get the final specs and then we'll flip it and it will take about three months to build the composite tooling. So I'd say about five to six yeah. months realistically once we get final dimensions. That seems not unreasonable. Um, of course, everyone wants to know how much is it? Uh, it's 24,000 for the baseline. And then of course accessories will go up and they're going to be relatively cost effective i mean we're not trying to gouge anybody here we haven't released prices on it yet because we don't have them and we don't want to sure. say anything we can't stand by so sure. we're looking probably you know another three thousand or so for like um maybe the kitchen the full kitchenette with the outside stuff and all the water and plumbing and that stuff that's exciting so i think people think yeah i just want to set the, the standard that we're not going to be going crazy high with the accessories we're going to be something that's addressable the camper itself is twenty four thousand because it's built with aerospace grade composites i mean this thing's not bulletproof, I will say that, but we had three guys jumping on the roof and it didn't even budge. So we really are trying to build a camper that stands up to the Cybertruck and can handle it. I think there's gonna be some cheaper campers just like this out there that are coming down. So, um, you know, there's sure. not an option, but we wanna be the one that, you know. 24 does not trucks. strike me as unreasonable. In the comments, I'd like to hear from you. Is 24,000 reasonable? Uh, let's hop out and look at it some more from out here. Yeah, I like to show you these too. This, this, oh, sure. comes, this comes standard with them. These are the bed extensions, so they actually store at the end to keep the tent from falling in. Yep. And they have these simple legs that store inside. They pop in. Oh, look at that. Pop out. So everyone standard comes with a couple benches. Oh, well, there you go. And that and, collapses uh, to nothing. Yeah, so these just sit in there, and it's that's the idea with ours. Is we want to have a camper that you don't even notice is on your truck. It really closes down to just being like what would look like a normal camper shell, but it comes with a lot packed into a small package. So. Uh, yeah. That's what these are for. The bed also comes out and becomes a table or a small, I mean, you can take it out and set it out as a day bed if you want to be hanging out outside while you're camping inside. And it's got the same pins. Yep, same exact ones. And then these all lock together too, so you can lock them together when they're in place. And when you hit the bed up, these will go up with it just to store out of the way. Oh, because there's the rails up there. Yep, exactly. You, you yeah. might have thought this through a little bit. There, were, Yeah, it's quite a bit of design work. I come from a background in, uh, in tooling design, so we kind of put some of the tricks we learned in the tooling world into a product and we're pretty excited about that space campers yeah that's great and then of course you can do whatever you want with yeah yeah that's kind of just makeshift for now until we get the solar on yeah. the roof but uh it's doing the job so yeah yeah you've you've worked with aluminum before oh yeah 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 we built all these on uh, yeah we machined all these parts ourselves we actually this whole prototype was built in-house that was kind of the ideas we really wanted to touch everything when we had the time right take the time to get it all dialed so when we go and direct other people to build it we've actually had experience with every single one and we can something that comes up we're like well hey we built it we did it this way so we can actually help our production uh, yeah associates do that kind of stuff so yeah i still want to get the competition in the yeah. shot yeah that's, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um Okay, so uh, let's talk about contact information. What, where do we go from here? Oh, yeah, you can reach out, uh, support at spacecampers.com. Um, there's also contact on our website, but check out spacecampers.com and you get a lot more information about what we're doing and it kind of paints the full picture about what we have coming down the pipeline in the next year or so. Yeah, that's going to be great. All right, well, I definitely appreciate your time. Uh, in the comments, let us know what did we miss, what did we misunderstand, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, Awesome to have you out here. Uh, Thanks, Brian. Yeah, and we're having a good time, and uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.